Hi there crafters, this is Becca Feekin with Amazing Paper Grace. If you've spent any time at my blog, you know that I love things that are easy to put together and you know that I also love bows. So today, I'm really tickled to be introducing tiered multi-loop bows. Bows have foam on any card and now you can make them perfect. And just wanted to show you the packaging just so that you can see how big the dies are in relation to my hand. Um, and there are 12 dies in the package. So let's take a, a closer look at that. This is the set. And um, there are three different sizes. You have small, medium, and large, and two different tails. And then this is a bridge that goes over where everything joins in the middle just to hide it and make it pretty. And you'll see that each set has an inset that you can either use as an overlay or you can make everything plain or you can use these on cards. So um, one of the things that I did, you know that I love brads, so I made holes so that everything could be put together easily with brads or pearl on wire. Um, but of course you can also glue things together as well. Now the design of the loops is a little bit different from what you've probably seen. And the reason that I did it this way is to give you greater flexibility. You can add as many loops as you want and you can position those loops and tails any way you want. You can tilt them down, you can move them up, and then you can add as many as you want to get a totally round bow. So today, I'm going to have two tutorials. I'm going to show you how to make a gift bow for the top of a package, and then I'm going to show you how to make a bow to go on a card. This is the bow that goes on top of the box. It has multiple loops, very easy to put together. And so I'm going to step through it real quick. Um, what it takes is five of the medium and five of the small loops. Um, I cut them out of vellum and then I use two of the large tails. I also use a brad and I have my papers all done. And I even use tweezers. So let me show you how this goes. So what I've done is I've added the small loops first because they're the things that are going to appear on top and then the larger ones on the bottom and they're all threaded onto my brad and then I can add two of the tails. And then the last thing I'll do is splay the brad and I can flip it and I can do some adjusting. So here you can position them any way that you want. And I will take a, a pearl or um, a button and just glue that in the middle and it actually will hold everything down. But that's it. That's how easy a multi-loop bow, bow is. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make a simple bow. This one is two tiers and it has the bridge in the middle and then it has two tails. So let's get started. I have all of my supplies and the tip that I wanted to tell you is um, I am using vellum so this is very bendable. But if you're using cardstock, it's easy to mangle your cardstock unless you um, take a brush or a dowel and run your finger across 
to get a curve in the paper so that you don't crease it. That's especially important on this piece right here that goes across the bridge. It's, e it's small and it's easy to, to mangle it. So if you just take and round it out by pulling it across the brush, it'll bend without creasing. And so you want to get that as round as you can, like so. All right, so as with the other bow, we have a brad. And we start out with what appears on top, which is the smaller two loops. So we're going to take a loop, bend it in half, put it on the brad. Do the same with the next. And then we'll do that with the larger loops, which are going to come next. come with the tails. Okay, and so now for this piece, this piece starts in the back and it wraps around um, to the front. Start here, and I'm going to come all the way around and put it there. Kind of reach in and hold that brad. And splay it out. Okay, so that's the bow. Now, kind of puffy, so I just flatten it just a little bit. You just do that as much as you like. And then it's ready to be glued to your card. So now just quickly, I want to show you something else I made with this set because it lends itself to other uses as well. So here's a card where I use the tails and the loop of the bow as a banner. And then the inlay from the inset of the medium loops is used here as a background. And then also at the end of my video, I'm going to sneak peek something else that I'm in the process of making. Um, and what I used were the medium and small loops. And you'll see that at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy the tutorials. And if you like this video and would like to see similar content, Please click like and I hope you'll subscribe.